The feedback on yesterday's video was polarized. Obviously you're getting paid to shill this. This how people get wrecked. Guys, there is no token. You can't buy stocks. Morales is a programming framework that is free to use with unlimited users for your app and 10 million requests per month. No one is asking for your money. You literally can't get wrecked because you can't invest. That's not why I made the video. There has to be room for base education. AWS is the infrastructure for Web2 for the past 19 years. If you invested in Web2 companies during this stretch without understanding what AWS is and what it does, chances are it didn't go so well. It's the same thing here. If you're going to invest in blockchain protocols and projects, you better understand a little about how those applications are built. And this company is right here in Stockholm and I understand it well. I think that's valuable. I was shocked to realize how many people aren't even ready to type the project name into Google and realize that there is no coin. Not even 5 seconds of research. They just assume something based on emotion after watching something on social media. That's not going to turn out well. And I shared something else that I hope is valuable. As you know, my process is for investing in liquid things. And then I react based on how things play out. Here I haven't invested any money, but I have invested something more valuable to me, which is my time. And this is not liquid. So I had to take that decision based on outlook for success, like a VC, which is not my usual process where I exit if large online turns blue. And in the core scene, I shared three things that was how I evaluated this investment to come to the conclusion it was worth it. And those points are useful insights. Not for this case for you, because you can't invest, but perhaps you can apply a similar line of thought for something else where you can invest. This is one of the world's most interesting blockchain companies right now and it's based right here in Sweden. Now let me show you something else that you can't get wrecked on. I do get a lot of positive feedback as well. Thank you for that guys and many of you have asked where I get the music from. Not the rap, the real music. I didn't want to answer that until I have something to give you also and now I have that. Most music is from another world leading company that is also based here in Stockholm, Sweden. Epidemic Sound. That's another one of those deals that seem so good that you assume someone is trying to scam you. Somehow. If you're creating anything on social media, this whole library of amazing music from incredible artists cost $9 per month to publish music. Apple Music costs $9.99 to listen to music. $9 per month is $108 per year. I went and met with Epidemic Sound here in Stockholm and got a discount code for you. With the code LARSON50, it costs $54 per year, which is $4.50 per month. There could be some affiliate part of it, I'm frankly not sure, and I don't care. It will probably cost me more in accounting than the money in. That's not why I'm doing it. It's just a great company that has brought me much joy. That is way too cheap for the value it brings. I want to support them, and maybe it will bring joy to some of you too. I'll put some link with the details. That code is valid for a few weeks only. Even if you're only interested in investing in blockchain projects, lift your eyes a little and look at what the most successful tech companies are doing and how they are doing it. At least for me, I feel that gives a tremendously valuable perspective when going back to look at investable blockchain protocols and applications. Sometimes it's easy to lose the perspective of money and value. If it's possible to deliver a professional high quality service like Epidemic Sound for $10 or even $5 per month, if a single blockchain transaction costs $100 per one time, it's just not good enough and that will never fly outside a very narrow niche of people. I realize that YouTube looks like easy money. I've put out over 100 videos on this channel. And before that, 
I tried this twice already. The first channel that I started in 2017 got shadow banned somehow by YouTube for some reason. They were not so fond of Bitcoin at that time and the channel wasn't big enough for anyone to look at it. Suddenly views went to zero. But I had another YouTube account because I created a YouTube channel in 2006, not 2016, 2006, before Google had bought YouTube. I didn't publish any useful content, I probably should have, but I just used it to test the technology. But I still had the login, so then I thought I'll use that because there's no way that one is going to get shadow banned. It must be one of the first real OG YouTube accounts. Then that got shadow banned also. Then I almost gave up. You know the saying that the difference between the winner and the loser isn't that the winner hasn't failed and fallen. It's that he gets back up. So this is the third channel and I've put out well over 100 videos here, which are all free to watch. Some criticism on the video yesterday was that ah, but he still makes money because ads are on for the channel. Trust me guys, that money is negligible. For a whole month, the ad revenue is about one hour of my consultancy rate. The reason I leave the ads on is because I've realized that YouTube is more likely to show you the video if ads are on. And given the history, I want to play nice with YouTube. They're an incredible platform. If I'm only a cost to them, it might be harder if one day the channel is gone for a third time. I'm not doing this to make money. I'm doing it because there is nothing else that comes close to extending my contact network with other amazing people. That's where the value is. I'm not here to scam you of your money. I'm trying to be of use to you. If I fail in that mission, I'm sorry, but that's what I try to do. It's good to exercise critical thinking, but I think it's not good to immediately assume the worst about everyone you meet, because then you'll miss out on some of your life's best opportunities. Another criticism was that it's too non-serious to do raps and stuff when you're clearly not a rapper, can't dance and can't sing. Then let me teach you something else. If you're a leader for people and you request them to go outside of their comfort zone, perhaps call some big CEO or try a project they're very uncomfortable with and they know that they might look foolish. If you're the leader, you have to show them that you are willing to go outside of your own comfort zone. And that's not calling the CEO or taking on that project because that's outside of the team member's comfort zone. While I would be very comfortable doing it. You have to go outside of your own comfort zone give a little of yourself. I usually don't respond to criticism because it's not what gets you anywhere. And pushing new boundaries means that you will always be criticized the whole time and by almost everyone. It's a desired state, so it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, if I wasn't, I would be much more worried. Also going back to this first comment, looking at the language, I guess it's a child. So I have no issue at all and no hard feelings whatsoever. I just saw a lot of value in the video yesterday and clearly it completely passed over many people's heads. Clearly I didn't package it well. So I hope that this video could help you unlock more of it. It's a sunny Friday afternoon here in Sweden. My superstar co-worker Ngop is sick, my daughter is sick and my wife is getting sick as well. So there's been a lot to do and my apologies if my email replies have been a little slower than usual. Enjoy the weekend because Bitcoin is a waiting game anyway for this range to resolve. Thank you Tak. See you Larsen out. Hej då.